Hello everyone, in this video we will create a GUI graphic user interface to manipulate the layout data. In the GUI we will have several entry fields so you can enter the text, in this case the value. Then we extract this value to manipulate the layout data. The material for this video is from my book Cat Scripting Language uh, on page 453, section 5.115, TCP resize. Here at the top image of my book, Cat Scripting Language, uh, you can find a little bit more information about this book in the book google.com. I also publish these books. Again, if you like the information of this book, just go to bookgoogle.com, search for my name. I will skim over the material for those who do not have my books. Uh, in this problem, we will create a gear like this, and which had four entry fields, so we can enter the value here. Once we enter, we can hit apply, then this will affect change our layout data. In this case, we change the pin size of any rectangle. So I will skim over the material. Again, from cat scripting language, page 453, here is the script. Basically, the first thing we do is we create uh, the GUI, which has four entry fields. Then, if we hit apply or OK, this function TCP resize will be invoked. And this is the uh, procedure for TCP resize. The first thing we do is we extract the value from the GUI. Then, we process the data. After we click the apply, the pin or any rectangle shape will be changed. Uh, it can expand or narrow down. Here I like to show an example of the cadence layout session. Uh, in the layout session, uh, we may have instance metal, wiring, pins, and some other stuff. For our problem here, we just want to change the pin size. We leave other stuff like instance uh, the same. We don't touch it. We just want to touch the pin. And we use this gear so we know how much to change. We can either expand the pin or narrow down the pin. So after you enter, you hit either OK or Apply. Then the layout will change. The pin will change according to what we type in here. Before solving our real problem, I'd like to go over some of the background so you understand what is typical layout consists of. A uh, typical layout consists of shape, instance, and pin, and many other stuff. In this problem, we will solve the pin only. We will modify the pin shape. This is a very basic uh, self view information. So you can extract out the data from a layout. For example, if you want to get on the shape, then you use for each shape this cell view and design shape. And the shape consists of uh, object type, maybe a rectangle or polygon, and the layer name, maybe metal three, and layer purpose, maybe drawing or pin, and the shape B box, mean the 
rectangle size itself. Uh, on the first problem, we will extract out the information of on the uh, rectangle in a layout. So the material for this exercise is from page 382 and section 5.2.1.2 TCP list shape. Again, to get on the shape, uh, assume that you have a layout open, then we use the tilter shape. It will extract on the shape for you. Uh, to process the shape, then use, use for each shape. So this one will process every shape in the layout that you open. Here is a simple script to get on the information uh, of the shape in the layout. So you may have 100 or 10 or 1 shape. So for each, here we got on the shape. And here you bring the property out of a shape. The property may be object type, rectangle, line, polygon, layer name, maybe M1, poly, M2, purpose, drawing or pin, and the physical size or location of the shape itself. Once you do this, you load into a CIW window. And if you invoke the command, that's what you see. You see the uh, the shape type, object type, then the layer name, the layer, the purpose, and the physical size of the layout. Now we will create our simple GUI. In this GUI, we have two entries, delta x and delta y. It has the default value. We certainly can override this value. Then we hit either OK or Apply. Once it OK and Apply, a procedure that we will create to affect the layout. Here is our procedure to create this simple view. In this view, we create two entries by high create float view name. And we give it a name and the text. That's what you see down here. And it has a default value of, so this one should be 0 0.05. And we use Create F form as in the previous video. Then we put the location of those entry and we give the size is entry 60. So you give both location and the entry field size here. If you make 100, this will be longer. Then on the callback, we will create a procedure called TCP resize. If you click apply, this procedure will be invoked. On the high display form, we can put wherever the location of this view. So this is a fun procedure of TCP resize. It's invoked if you hit OK or apply. The first thing in this function we do, we extract the value from the GUI. Here's the GUI, we have two entry fields. So this command, we extract those values out, so you can process the layout. So to extract, first you have to call the GUI name. TCP in form, it can be any name, here we call it 
so we have to use in a typical day layout you may have a multiple view so you have to know which view you extract from so this one extract from this view name tcp resize form and we extract the float form and we get it value so this command basically extract the value whatever we type in here similarly for delta y uh, we instead of extract the x1 we extract y1 so after extract this value you get you get the value from the view into this procedure to be processed once we get the value from the view interface then we process uh, on the ship by this command this assume that you have a layout open somewhere and here we open on the sh on the ship to the ship and we process each ship uh, this if command make sure that we only process a rectangle remember the object can be line polygon so we know that the pin is rectangle so the first thing we do from the shape is we extract the b box uh, basically it's a physical location uh, for a particular shape and we extract our uh, in the b box there's x1 y1 so it's, you have uh, button left and upper right so you extract each value in the b box out by using this uh, command uh, if you don't understand what is there uh, please go back from the previous view then here we given the new value the shape b box so we extract the delta then we make the pin smaller or larger that depend on the value then we create a new b box for the shape so this one is a new physical shape so after you done this then if you click ok or apply this rectangle will be changed shape on the rectangle for now of course we will select which rectangle uh, to be changed it can be m2 pin m3 pin or just on the pin for now in the strip below if you change on the rectangle uh, just for exercise i uh, record this procedure here to make it shorter so this procedure is equivalent to this one you see it's much shorter in this one um, we use the lower left B box. So this is the uh, structure of B box. This is lower left, and this is upper right. Then we use command X call lower left, so you get X one end right down here. Similar X two end. So we extract the information from the view out. Well, and you can see that the uh, program is much shorter than before. To select any shape uh, to be modified, you can put a little bit more constraint on the if. Uh, last time we put red. You can put shape purpose, uh, drawing or pin, and uh, metal one or poly or metal three, whatever. You can put a lot more constraint in here. In instead of process every shape, now you can select uh, much smaller number of shapes to be processed uh, you don't have to process every shape in the layout you can limit uh, the number of shape by your left mouse click and drag and whatever in that rectangle will be processed by GE get select set here see you on next video